Hi friends, welcome back. Now that we've started with the basics of geometry, we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper on some of these subjects. Okay, the first one are planes. Now planes, it took me a little bit to figure this one out uh, when I took geometry when I was your age. So you just need to know that it is a flat surface and it's two-dimensional two and it has at least three points. It extends indefinitely in all directions. And here's how you kind of can envision it, right? If you're in an airplane and you take off, you can be at 500 feet, you can be at 5,000 feet, you can be at 50,000 feet. There's an infinite number of planes in which that airplane can be. Also, it could be at an angle. So there are an infinite number of planes that exist all around us. Uh, a good example of one would be like a six-sided die, right? So you have an, a dice that you roll. Uh, six-sided die is gonna have six different planes that are all stretching in um, infinitely in all directions. But first let's talk about this one. So uh, the way that we talk about planes is you can name them by either using the scripted letter that's usually in the uh, lower corner of on the plane or next to it uh, and say plane M in this case. Or you can name the plane by naming at least three points that are on the plane. So for example, if point D was on here, you could say that this is plane ABC, or you could say that this was plane uh, ABD, anything like that. You just have to name three of them. If you name only two, that's a line. Okay, so let's talk about what happens when two planes collide. When two planes intersect, they form a line here, and you can see that if we have a plane a, uh, plane R, because the scripted letter here, uh, and plane P, they're crossing and they intersect right here at line AB. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about how these look. So, all right, I'm gonna get you so you can see it now. All right, so um, coplanar is gonna, it means that they're on the same plane. Non-coplanar means that they are not on the same plane. So let's talk about how we can examine that. So looking at this one, a line containing point B, the way that you would write it, and here's the B over in the corner, is you would say, oh, that could be line XB, it could be AB, it could be BA, BX, any one of those would work. So we can say AB and we can extend it in either direction. Another line for line L, so you see line L is scripted down here. Another way to name that would be line CD. So we could say CD and put our line. Now you notice in this case, a line intersects with a plane at a point and it is at point X. Now a plane containing point J, we could say plane K where it's in that script or we could say plane uh, JXA, BXJ, something like that. A non-coplanar uh, a point non-coplanar to plane AJX. So AJX, that's this plane right here. What would be a point that is not on that plane? Well, it looks like D and C are both points that would not be on that plane. So we could say point D or you could say point C. Now one more, so make sure that you add those uh, to your vocabulary list if you haven't already done that. Now one more that's really important that we need to talk about are skew lines. So skew lines, and it'll help if I move this. Skew lines are lines that don't intersect and they're not parallel, right? Previously in algebra, we learned about lines that don't intersect and those guys, they're parallel. They just never, they never cross. Skew lines don't cross, but they are also not parallel. So if you're looking at this uh, figure that I've got here, a uh, rectangular, rectangular prism, words are hard today, you can see that a, an example of skewed lines might be AG is skewed to DC because those are never gonna cross and they are not parallel. If I wanted parallel lines, DC and FE would be parallel uh, and they would never cross, but they wouldn't be considered skew. You can also think of it as these toothpicks in three-dimensional. A three-dimensional way of thinking about it would be with these toothpicks. And you can kind of see if I have them, maybe it's easier if I show you guys this way. If I have them like this, right, you can kind of see they're going off in one direction and you can see them in one way, in the other, they're never gonna cross uh, and they are not parallel. So those are all about planes. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, great work, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.